Hey everyone, it's Fernando out here live, in this case in Fort Worth, near an area, a little bit outside of Fort Worth actually, by a lake. I believe the lake is called Lake Worth. Sorry, I would notify everyone ahead of time, um, you know, maybe give y'all a 30 minute approach as to where I'm going. The only problem is uh, this was kind of impromptu. But in any case, I am here live at a place called Worth Castle. Already some shout outs. Hey, how's it going everybody? Thank you, love, Amy Lori. How's everybody doing? Gonna give this about a minute and then I'll start uh, showcasing some info of this castle. Ah, more shout outs. Hello, Betsy. How's it going? But yeah, uh, this was very impromptu right now because I just finished having dinner or lunch, I'm sorry, at another place in Fort Worth saw this place nearby not too far out maybe about 20 minutes out and so i decided to go here very windy out here sorry for the bad reception audio wise in case you can't hear me. but yes it, this is a haunted place that i found on hauntedplaces.org that's nearby fort worth called lake worth castle already yes it looks eerie uh, just looking at it right now and i mentioned some um some some haunted places here. I'm sorry, some haunted apparitions that are here based on some research there. Hauntedplaces.org. I'll just give it a couple more seconds and then I'll give some info and then I'll provide as much as I can. Goodness, it's locked up. Can't really go inside, unfortunately. That doesn't mean it can't happen in the future. Maybe they do allow ghost hunts or private investigations. I'll have to find that out afterward. And this will be a perfect place for it too. But yes, indeed. Uh, I said hello to everyone. Thank you so much for the shout outs. And then um, only good to mention just once to any super chats if anybody wants to do any of those. I would greatly appreciate it too. I'll try to be out here for about maybe 5-10 minutes at most only because there's not much to show because it's locked. But let's see. 2 minutes, 30 seconds in. Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll start. So this place here is Lake Worth. There uh, near Fort Worth, apparently, and this place is, as you can see, locked up. I can't do anything. Can't go in. There's no option. I mean, I mean, look at that. It would be so easy to just climb over. You know, this place here. It's not like there's barricades surrounding it. But check this out. The only problem is this: no trespassing. Clear as day, right in front of the gate. So. Obviously, I'm going to respect that. Otherwise, uh, always do so. Everyone, too. Um, make sure that you are complying with in laws, as I mentioned in some of my past videos. So, this is about as close as I can get to this location. But it looks so cool. Look at that stuff. That place is completely abandoned. Oh, someone said uh, that you're close by. Awesome. If, if you are and you know more history on this, um, shout it out so that way. I get to explain it to everyone, but yes, look at that. This place is completely abandoned. It's boarded up. Um, it has a bunch of barbed wire gates there, too, in the front. Apparently, that's new as well. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, you can kind of see it zoomed in. Let me see if I can do even more. Ah, how does that look? This looks somewhat better now zoomed in hope you can see how they have just this gate this metal type steel gate just surrounding it completely and barbed wire on top of it dude they're not taking any chances there's nobody that can have access to that place and then you'll see it's kind of hard to make in the middle there but it says beware of dog so yes indeed they'll have those dogs out there too for it minutes ago during lunch I was looking for some info to, to go out nearby and then I saw the, this place listed and yes it looks awesome absolutely check out this too this is how awesome this place is there's a gigantic lake right here right across the place just amazing like it it's right there right over it hop skipping over and then you're there on the lake 
so kind of eerie to think you know that there's something like that large body of water there because you know how much i love cryptids imagine if there was something there that comes out it would be right there on that dirt mount, easily coming across the street well that was pretty neat i wonder if this lake ever overruns like if it does how does that work out for everyone but otherwise that's the info there and i'll focus on this the grounds of the location the reason for it is because of this. This is apparently one of the first apparitions that's known to haunt this place. This ghost runs around within the grounds here. I don't know if it's during the day or during the night, but it runs around and it makes its presence known. And so when that happens, that's when you're supposed to see it or something, like feel it, sense it, whatever happens. And what happens too is there's another one of a young woman who also runs these grounds, a ghost of a young woman. And when she does so, she actually crosses this road, this very road right here. So that's pretty cool to read too. I'm trying to see if I can see anything, but not likely. Not during the daytime at least. I totally imagine all this stuff happening at night. And then over here... other people around as far as I can tell everything else is abandoned I heard that on the properties there's someone that lives there like a caretaker maybe that person knows more about the history of her, her experiences but so far nothing shows on the grounds like anything that stands out as far as apparitions and then someone asked me if they could zoom if I could zoom in here so let me see so Yes, I was going to do that also too, because on this window here, apparently someone stated they saw a ghost one time. There's some other ghost, so now this is the third ghost. So there was the one of the young man on the grounds, there's one of the young woman on the grounds, and then there's another ghost there on the uh, tower that was peering down one time whenever people were there. I don't know if they were trespassing or if they happened to be there like on a purposeful visit but that ghost was standing probably through that very same window with the hole in it and it was peering down not at them like a the, the ghost of uh, of a woman in white some kind of dress something like that it was peering down from it but it's so cool i mean this place is totally just abandoned like there's nothing inside uh there as well so so it's so cool to think that if this was allowable like in terms of a private hunt how amazing would that be to go in through any of these doors, go inside, and then probably go right up there. So creepy. Ah, some people are saying they're drawn to energies, drawn to that window. Ah, what a coincidence. Hmm, very interesting. It does uh, it does draw instant attention, doesn't it? That, that window right there. And that it felt like a woman. Very interesting, too. Am I allowed to go in? No, 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 not at all. Um, this is completely... Let me zoom out again. As you can see here locked up no trespassing nothing can't go in at all so i'll just have to leave it outside here which was the public street ah there's a dog right there i heard that people said that there's a dog here there's a dog here. There it is. you see the little doggies they now they know that i'm here they're moving about but i wonder if those dogs know of anything as well those are big dogs too german shepherd and it looks like one other much larger dog so that's pretty cool. But I'm going to give this just a few more minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave. Only because there's not really much to show. Unfortunately now. And now that the dogs know that I'm here. If the caretaker knows. Who knows. They might come out afterward. But just wanted to show everyone this. Lake Worth Castle. I'm going to have to make this part of an investigation. Later on with a group I'm in. See if I can contact someone here. Like whoever owns this property. To see if they allow private investigations this is just spot on perfect for one because look at this again nothing absolutely nothing surrounding this place just the castle 
and then the lake itself. I mean, this is just perfect to come out and then spend overnight, whatever, uh, doing an investigation and not be disturbed at all. Nothing. Uh, this would just be perfect for something like this. Oh, some more comments. Uh, I feel spirits most of the time I see and hear them. Oh, very sensitive stuff then, huh? Like that kind of stuff. I don't sense any of that. Um, when I'm in the groups and people say they feel heaviness, they feel depression, they feel anxiety, they, they sense something there. Very same group that I'm in, right next, right shoulder to shoulder to that person, I don't feel anything. So some people have it, some people don't. And not me, it looks like, in this case. All right, let me give it just one more minute and then I'll wrap up here. This looks like a great place to investigate. Look, there's even, it's kind of hard to see on the top, but by that window as well, there's even spotlights. Let me see if I can. Hanging on the side, so that stuff shines down at night. How eerie is that? Imagine this place. Also because of this, you know, that large body of water that's out here, you know how ghosts are attracted to water? Then there's a chance that that, that the uh, power of this water just helps keep these ghosts here. You always hear about how water seems to have this mystical effect on ghosts, large bodies of water. Oh, someone asked, would I ever do a ghost hunt? Uh, the viewers, it's always a possibility. Um, right now I'm trying to keep it to myself. Some final ones. Uh, greetings, thank you, Beamer. Greetings as well. If you'd like to join? You'll be in Calgary, Canada. Wow, well, maybe. <laughs> never say never. I don't think I'm going that far north anytime soon. But otherwise, we shall see. But yes, uh, one final goodbye to everyone. I'm going to be on streaming tomorrow because I'm going to be at Aurora, Texas tomorrow. I'm going to try to find that alien gravestone that, that, that I read about and I talked in one of my videos uh, a couple of months back maybe about a year or so back or so but it's going to be awesome I'm trying to find that gravestone yes I'm sorry it's very windy out here it is it is absolutely very windy so sorry for the bad noise but otherwise that is it so be on the lookout for a live stream and then I'll try to announce more when I'm going to do so, so alright everybody talk to y'all later see you tomorrow then take care bye